Peter Chang here, and welcome to part 47 of our B44.2 build. And we've reached a very special step in this build, and this is actually where we get to design how we're going to paint the B44.2 body shell created by J Concepts. And J Concepts actually did a, such a great job of this body shell, I'm almost just a little bit intimidated. And oh, it's almost as if the body shell is saying, paint something worthy of me and I don't want to let it down so what do I paint well I've decided to lay in some flames and to do this I've actually used the this, these uh, vinyl stick-on graphics by Parma and you know admittedly um, I'm not doing this in a very professional way you should actually transfer the the vinyl onto onto the rub off sheet and then you use the rub off sheet and then you transfer it back onto the Lexan body shell and if you're kind of pressed for time like me um, you, you kind of skip a few steps and you don't quite get it exactly perfect but this is one part of the step where if you're super patient it just totally pays off um, but if you're like me and you're just not super patient uh, you run into little problems just like that like when I'm just pulling off the uh, flames by hand and then I could, I could just imagine some of you guys are just wincing but uh, if you're just super pressed for time and actually this is actually uh, not the greatest way of sticking on these flames I admit but if you're totally pressed for time uh, and you just you know, you're just looking for a quick and dirty way of doing this um, this is probably going to be okay but if you're you know like if your body shells do generally stand the test of time and you know like if you're if you're going to be racing with your with your same body shell for quite a while uh, you really want to perhaps use the use the uh, that film transfer uh, so this is actually the film transfer sheet if you if you actually want to do the stuff by the book triple uh, X main actually includes these sheets uh, for you uh, Parma also has a sheet but the Parma sheet isn't as good as the triple X a main sheet uh, for for that transfer but triple X a main and both Parma actually have instructions for you to, to transfer uh, vinyl graphics so uh, in a nutshell, it's kind of almost like I'm like a bad parent. I would say, uh, do what I say, but don't do what I do. Uh, but if, if once again, if you're just kind of crunch for time, um, this is not a necessarily a bad way of of doing this. Now, I would say this is not going to work. Uh, my method of transferring vinyl graphics is not going to work. Uh, say if you need, if you need both the left and right sides of your uh, RC body to be exactly the same. I figured that uh, I'm using flames so it could be a little forgiving if flames on one side of the car uh, were slightly different than the than flames on the other side of the vehicle but if you're seeking that kind of perfection where you want both sides to line up equally this is not perhaps the greatest way of doing it. Um, also uh, if you're using uh, chrome type paints, uh, I remember Rich uses awesome chrome from Spat Sticks. Uh, I also use a chrome from Elcad, uh, chrome for Lexan, and this is not definitely not going to be a great way for you to transfer vinyl graphics. Uh, just because if you're using chrome based paints, um, you will get uh, fingerprints on there. Um, I also transferred like another graphic on here uh, using the using the uh, sheet method from Triple X A Main, uh, and this is some Mandarin text for the words horsepower. So I thought it was kind of fun to inject some some uh, uh, some of the uh, calligraphy in there. And let me just go ahead and just cut another sheet. So just two totally different ways of of transferring vinyl graphics uh, and I'm gonna get a little lazy in here and I'll probably just tack it on uh, my normal way there but um, just so you know the the proper way is actually to transfer it onto uh, the film transfer sheet 
and then and then move it over but in this case I was a little too hurried and I'm just going to stick it on uh, so I did one side the right way and then I did the other side the botch method so uh, so just please forgive me for for uh, kind of rushing through it I'm just so excited to finish out this body and I'm just pretty excited to get get started with racing actually so let me just go ahead and just transfer this over here uh, and just to let you know it's finally getting warmer in Minneapolis it's um, we're still at the uh, 60s uh, range and it's raining every other every other day here basically so we've not really had some great weather here in in uh, Minnesota just yet but it is I'm finally getting used to the 60 degree weather so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to paint so um, also uh, ju just so you're aware uh, sometimes when you transfer final graphics you have like it, you know like because the design is so intricate and detailed uh, the designs do break apart a little easier um, in, in my experience here using this vinyl graphics um, I would have to say I I actually find myself because I like to rush a little bit more um, I, I would suggest vinyl graphics if you're the more patient type um, if you're not as patient as as I am uh, and I would say like if you were or if you're just as patient as me uh, I would not necessarily recommend using vinyl graphics I find myself um, just finding it just a little little too touchy to use and I would I find that if you want to work faster uh, I would highly recommend using stencils instead so um, just a little word out there um, I think if I'm gonna do this next um, I might try to find a different method of of preparing the car uh, just the uh, vinyl graphics would require more time more patience to do it properly so I would highly recommend uh, either using stencils or or you try a different method but you know I just figured I should try this out once and then after I apply the vinyl graphics I'm gonna definitely have to uh, wash the car so just to get that all squared and away with so but it's looking pretty cool. I'm I'm kind of digging the uh, the little flame design. It's a little asymmetrical in some spots, but it looks very organic and natural. And check out the next video as I go through what you're gonna need for painting the Lexan RC body. But this is starting to look pretty cool, and I can't wait to get painting with this design. And you know, if you're more patient, your car is going to look much better than this. Thanks for watching.